All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a special kind of video, I guess. Everyone's been asking for more DIY stuff, so I am out here today with one of San Diego's finest, Mr. Zach Dowdy. Been meaning to meet up for a minute. Finally, how doing are you, it. sir? So hyped. You're, you've been like just put it on the record, favorite YouTuber, you, Dan Dell. Oh man, so thank it's so you. sick to like meet up with you. I, lot, I feel dude. honored. <laughs> thank you, dude. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're out at this um, slab spot out here in San Diego that Zach has brought me to. And there used to be a DIY here back, I don't know, six, seven, eight years ago now. But we're going to test the waters. We're going to build a couple things today and see how it goes. Where the spot is, it's in like a big nature reserve here. There's houses that are far enough away, keep out of the view of the DIY spot, so they can't really see what's going on unless they walk up here. Um, but yeah, this slab's been sitting like this for God knows how long, so we're going to um, check this place out and then head down to either Home Depot or Lowe's, pick up some stuff and then get to building. So yeah, I think this is DIY Diaries episode 9 maybe, or 10, I don't know, it's been a while. But yeah. Yeah, we forgot our mask. I've got so two more masks. If, you, if they have them inside, yeah. Thank yeah, you. I'll go, I'll go get one. Thank you. Man with the mask. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So we're probably going to need like between 18 to 20 bricks to be able to build this cinder block ledge. It's going to be coping on both sides, so we need the bricks, angle iron, forking guns, and some liquid nails, as usual. I think this is uh, this is what we need right here, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. I got these gloves to protect my pretty little hands. <laughs> <laughs> Smart guy by prepping up the spot at the hardware store. You don't want to get to the spot and then have to go back to the hardware store to pick up supplies. You're better off getting more than less. Maybe two more just for good measure. You never know, dude. You want to be. And then you'll it's better to have it, not need it, than exactly need it, not have it. <laughs> you got to come back here and that's be a yeah. pain in the butt. Facts. Said this oil was corking, so I'm trying to find where the corking went there. Maybe. Oh, right there. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. You want to not. These bend and break. Like you can. I've broken a few of these. So is this for the. Uh, is that the right size? Yeah, second. that's right size. Okay. Double all right, we got the angle iron, we got a caulking gun, we got a box of liquid now, we got all the bricks. Seeing as they don't cut metal here at Home Depot, we had to buy a, a Stanley uh, and DeWalt metal hacksaw to get it done ourselves. I'm gonna give you guys a piece of that hat, okay? Oh, Thank you. Get more time doing a DIY. We just got hooked up big time at Home Depot right now. Uh, Zach was just explaining to the lady on checkout what we were building. We're building a DIY skate spot for the community. And she was like, whereabouts is it? Whereabouts is the area? Uh, Canto. Canto. And she's like, oh cool, that's what's up. And she gave us a discount of $50. Yeah, she like, hooked it up. Yeah, 50 <laughs> bucks. That's a massive discount. So uh, shouts out to that lady at Home Depot here. Shouts out to Jesse for coming out today, bringing the truck. Got all our stuff loaded up here. Um, I would have been, uh, I would have been having some trouble trying to put this in the back of my car. Have a look at this bush here, guys. Bunch of gum trees. You wouldn't be able to tell if I'm in Western Sydney or San Diego. But thankfully, I'm in San Diego today. We got all the cinder blocks up to the slab here. We just got to figure out where to place this ledge. Then we're going to get the angle iron cut down to size, get it all glued down. Dowdy wants to put in a pole jam here today, so he's got a bag of quickcrete, which you can get in this country, thankfully. We don't have quickcrete in Australia. And he's got this choice bar here that looks like it might have been a street sign or something in its past life. There's a tag on it here. Someone's done with a solid marker or something, but yeah. Pretty keen to rip into this DIY spot. This is DIY from Campbelltown to California. This is a DIY building. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just super excited to be able to build this spot out here. It's been a minute and I'm out here in California. Life is good.
we've got the angle cut, shut, glued down. Got some rocks. Some old uh, rubble actually from the old DIY build that was here. It's a bunch over there. Perfect use for uh, a half pipe. Sorry, a quarter pipe when the time is right. But yeah, we're going to let this thing dry. Keep these rocks on it and hold it all down in the California sun. Should dry and set pretty quickly, I'd imagine. It's quite hot out here today. So this spot right here, it's like a nature reserve, but it looks like the ruins of like a navy kind of barracks. And there's like a little slab down there. It looks like it could have been a gas station or something. But yeah, check out all the rubble from the last DIY build that was here. If I can find photos, I'll chuck them in. But there was like a DIY build here and they went massive straight away. Like it was big. As you can see, they uh, the city knocked it because it got too crazy. And here are the... Here are the leftovers, the remnants. You can tell because it's like super smooth right there and then like all nasty. So this would have been the top of the quarter maybe and then that would have been the inside. It's like a big piece of quarter pipe concrete cake right here. You can serve this to someone at their wedding, a bit of wedding cake. But like honestly, look at it out here. Like I said, you don't know if I'm in Western Sydney, this could be like walking through a nature reserve in Penrith. Or if it's San Diego, you know, you just don't know. Some more rubble right here next to the green slab here. They just knocked it and they didn't want to clean up, so they just left it. But yeah, check it out. Like, this could have been like a refueling station here. It's got this little island in the middle here, some metal pipes and stuff. Could come here and fill up the truck and go to uh, wherever you're going if you're in the Navy. Another little concrete slab down here. Not as smooth as the uh, main one up there, but apparently there's a bunch of scattered concrete slabs like this around this whole bit of land here. So we're building on the main one. All right, guys, we got everything situated. We're about to dip right now, get some food. Building DIYs, you work up a big appetite. So I think we're gonna get some Mexican food down here in San Diego. So keen to skate this thing. Check it out, honestly. Kicker with a pole jam. It's gonna be rad. Alright guys, so this is a few days later, I had to work all weekend, so I'm just walking back up to the spot right now to meet up with Dowdy. But uh, I believe I've got a bit of sad news. So the following day after we built, Dowdy went down to check out the spot, everything seemed alright. A couple days after that, he went back to check out the spot again, and it was completely gone, like everything was flattened, like there wasn't even like one piece of like rubble from a cinder block or anything, so... The city definitely ripped it out, but yeah, kind of sad, but <laughs> check it out. <clears throat> Gone. Gone with the wind. It's like completely like... Phew. It's like you're watching a movie and then the movie just ended. Yeah. It had no ending. Yeah, it's just flattened. Just t straight to the titles. Yeah. My God. This is where the ledge was. You can see the liquid nails kind of ripped up the paint a little bit. Damn. I put a ton of liquid nails on this thing too. You can see. It really looks like the city did it because like there's no evidence. I was looking around for the pool or the ledges, the angle iron. There's nothing, There's huh? nothing. Yeah, I looked yeah. at all the bushes. It's completely gone. Yeah, they did a good job. Like whoever... <laughs> they did a good job. They did a good job of destroying it though because like whoever did it cleaned up everything. Yeah. Like, they like would have even picked up the nails, the yeah. nails from the ground. There would have been way more residue there. You reckon? They would have just chipped it and cleaned it. I feel it. like if like you just knocked it out, like there would have been some oh, stuff. Oh it would have been yeah, yeah stuff. Because I've had people knock out spots that I built before and when you know it's like like a personal person or a resident, it's not like the city. Yeah. They'll leave some stuff. You they'll know? leave, but there's like, it's just flat. They would have for sure gotten a truck in here with a bunch of guys with the crew and just knocked it out. And uh, yeah. So, um. <laughs> I, like, I like how positive you were though. Like when I FaceTime you, you're like, well, like I feel like your third thing that you said was like, well, do you have any other spots to build at? Yeah. I think that's like the right, that's what I that's was trying right, to do. Yeah, because I didn't want to be like, this isn't my first rodeo of a DIY being destroyed. I'm sure it's not yours either. So I'm just like, where else can we build? That's <laughs> yeah. like the next question. I think like anybody, yeah, especially if you're like you're going to build DIY spots, you, you accept it, right? Before yeah. like it happens, you're like, there, yeah. there's a good chance it's going to get torn out. Yeah. You, you just kind of like roll the punches and not exactly. let it discourage you from continuing. Because I think like, 
some people can like build a spot and be like, you got knocked out, all my money is gone. So like, yeah. they just stop there and never try it. Yeah. Imagine if like you didn't land your trick right away and you just stopped. Yeah, that's pretty much the same <laughs> kind of principle here. Yep. All right, so Dowdy and I are at this other little DIY spot not too far from where we were. Some cool stuff here. It's like a really nice manual pad. Really steep, fun, little quick quarter with some uh, beer can coping. Check it out. But yeah, it's an abandoned um, slab, I guess. There might have been a restaurant or a business here because there's a car park right here. But yeah, we've got a bunch of parking curbs everywhere. Woo! Got this cool little manual pad. There's a tiny little kicker over there, it's pretty fun. But there's a lot of open space here, but yeah. The difference being this is private property, so the city can't legally go in and tear it out. So um, yeah. I'm just gonna skate here for a bit, get some skating clips, try to make the most of the uh, the day before the sun goes down. I think we're gonna hit a couple other spots too, so yeah, this is where we're at right now. Yeah.